Monkey Mischief Classroom. Today's fun lesson is about segmenting and blending using um, our valley fingers. Um, I call these valley fingers because it's a little bit of a break for the kids um, from you know having to point and follow along or uh, it just gives them a little fun uh, kinesthetic way to do an activity. Um, and they get a you know kick out of going get your valley fingers get your get your get your valley fingers ready, um, so that it gets them all excited. Um, so what we do is we use our fingers to help us visually see how the sounds are connected and how the word is made. Um, what I like to do is provide the student with a visual of the word, and um, and then I like to put a little dot um, as a visual to this is where the word starts um, and then so we start here and I say get your valley fingers get you get your valley fingers and we go S every finger is a sound um, so ah, and then we make the sounds and then I say okay we're gonna make the sounds and put the sounds together so, s-a-t, put it together, s-a-t. What's the word? Sat. So I like to also provide the visual of put it together in, in the right direction of the fingers that we used only because it's a good visual for them to know they need to start with that sound. Oftentimes, um, what happens is they uh, forget the first sound um, so when you provide them with this visual, um, it's a great way for them to recall that uh, first sound that was made. So again, let's try that again. It goes at. Put it together. Sat. What's the word? Sat. So let's try a different letter. Here, ready? P at. Put it together. P at. What's the word? Pat. M. At. Put it together. M. At. What's the word? Mat. Um, this is a great way to give them that visual, that movement that they need in, in order to learn the word. They've got the visual of of the word and they're hearing it. So you're kind of hitting all modalities of learning um, when you practice um, segmenting and blending this way. Good luck kiddos.